YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage back with the uh, Hannibal at the Gates campaign. When we last left off, I just captured uh, Asturic Asturica, however you say that, um, settlement that I've taken from the Lusitani. I'm going to tear down the buildings there, and I guess I can go ahead and start building a consecrated ground. Uh, like I said, this puts me in a pretty decent position to start striking. My men are going to have to retrain pretty substantially, but it shouldn't take too terribly long. I lost a Scutari, um, Scutari veteran or mercenary, and I also lost an Iberian Cav mercenary. Uh, so let's hire them back in, so that I can bolster my ranks back up and let my men retrain. So, and then of course we're at the turn end. So Hannibal has his movement points back, and now the real question is: Do I want to go ahead and commit Hannibal to this fight here to get rid of the Lusitani and the Vitones before I focus on Italy? And I don't really want to because I'd love to go get the fight started with the Romans, but I kind of feel like I need to in order to feel like I can secure things in the home front. Some of you may not like me doing this, but I don't really feel like I have a lot of choice if I want to do this properly. I want to take Hannibal through and strike at Helmont Helmontica and then uh, drop down to Abora while I just defend these two cities with my uh, token forces, at least to make it difficult for the Iberians to take those cities. It's going to be risky, though, because I'd be trespassing our Vasi lands, and I don't know... Well, I could send a spy in to scout it out. Let's see how... Ooh, yeah, there's quite a few Arvasi troops there. It may not be real smart for me to trespass their lands. This is the only way around down here, though, so let's, uh... Let's go into force march with Hannibal and just march this way. And we'll come through. It'll take me a few more turns, but we should be able to, to get some reinforcements there. And get these guys under control. Got things there. This army is going to be retraining. We can soon go back out and attack the Viscones. This, uh, this force is going to need some more troops. Um, and I'm going to have to rely on more mercenaries at this point. Hallucitani Noble would be great, or a mercenary noble fighter would be great, but yeah, that's not going to happen. I can get another mercenary hoplite. Mercenary citizen cav. That wouldn't hurt. These mercenary noble horse would be quite nice as well. But very expensive, unfortunately. Ooh, mercenary Numidian noble cav. The upkeep on these guys is insane, but the pain that they can dish out is also insane. A very tempting choice. But I think, alas, I really need something more standard. It stinks because I can't get any more Iberian swordsmen. Nor Scutari. Well, I'll go ahead and recruit a couple of mercenary... Wow, this citizen cab are terrible. I'd be better off to get this mercenary Scutari I cab. Man, I want these guys, but they just cost too much. Uh, I think I'm going to get a couple of mercenary Scutari I Cav, or Scutari Cav, whatever you call it. I don't know what their names are. It seems kind of screwed up. So that'd make 18. And I kind of like to get sword units for the rest of my units. I'm going to go ahead and hire these guys, and then I'll wait till I can get some mercenary swordsmen. That's going to be about all I can pull off for this turn, though the Barked Brethren did rank up there. I've already made them siege experts, which is good. I might make them... Uh, inexorable Conquerors at this point, which would increase their missile damage and weapon damage. I've taken the General down the Authority line. I might go ahead and open up uh, Zeal as well. And then let's see, I can upgrade this Judge. We can get him fully upgraded on this Authoritarian deal, and it helps him uh, spread our cultural influence faster too, which is always helpful. Well, let's see what happens on this turn end, see if we get any more enemies attacking us. Rome was right off of our shores. Really need to finish that fleet at Carthago and then come drive these Romans back from Hippo, Hippo Regius. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them there. And I, I also want to get that army over there. I need to make sure it's still moving because I want to take that army and... Uh, ooh, look at those Lusitani stopped right next to my city. You better believe I'm going to go out and pounce on those guys in this next turn and take them out. I was a little bit worried to tick off the Arvasi. 
Um, especially considering they don't like the Lusitani. Their spirits tell us <laughs> that they should offer <laughs> you want a gold. peace treaty now, we do, do not you? Argue with spirits. You want a peace treaty, do you? Now that you've taken my city, you're ready for a peace treaty, is it? It's always a convenient stance to take, especially when my armies are knocking on your door. If I take it, I get their money. But I can't trust them. They're treacherous. They're going to turn their backs on me, regardless of whether I give them a peace treaty. And they took my city. I can't let that stand. we got to stand for principle here, folks. And I believe that is an allied army that's in my land right there. I'll make sure. Oh, the Vetones come to attack me with their Lusitani reinforcements. I urge them to try, as I feel like I'm going to give them a pretty sound thrashing. I say that. Hopefully I've got some... Nope. I pretty much have no reinforcing troops. I have one full Scutari unit. My skirmishers are in decent shape, most of them, but everything else is totally thrashed. So we're going to have to hope that we can do our best. And the walls are going to still be that of a barbarian city. Um, well, this is going to be challenging. Really challenging, actually. I wonder why they offer you a peace treaty and then come attack you when you don't take it. That is an interesting stance. Hopefully my arrow towers can take down some of their men. The Lusitani reinforcements are not going to make me happy either because there's quite a few of them. My men haven't gotten any retraining done yet. Don't you all think it's interesting, though? Just for the sake of argument. I beat the Lusitani on their turn, and their uh, garrison troops had already uh, regained some of their strength by the time it was my turn. Uh, I attacked the Lusitani on my turn, and whenever the Vatones attack me, my garrison forces have not regained their strength. It's an interesting thing to note there. Defensive positions. Maybe I'm missing something, but I think the only thing I'm missing is a little bit of cheating going on for the uh, AI there. This ought to be an acceptable position, though. Oh, I can, really? My men can't walk up here? Why did you make this area off limits? It's so strategically fantastic. Well, that's irritating. So these guys are coming from a direction where I can't really put a whole lot of skirmish fire onto them. Which ones are my Balearic Slingers? I want them up here because they're going to do the most damage. Of course, the other one that's beat up happens to be a Balearic Slinger. Okay. I've got all of my troops up here, and I'm going to leave them on fire at will. I'm not going to put them on skirmish. They're only going to be able to scale the wall with a couple of Iberian swordsmen. I do have one full unit. Let's put my general down here, because it does have a lot of abilities that I can use to support the fight. All my units are just absolutely thrashed. Doesn't matter. I mean, if we lose units, it's going to be what it is. Uh, got to win the fight. So, that is all there is to it. And we may have to go reposition uh, elsewhere in order to... Uh, defend the other gates from the reinforcements, but we'll deal with that when it comes. Let's deal with the ladders first. If I can repel Enemy reinforcements approaching. the men on the ladders, I should be able to avoid this noble cav. is a victory point on this map, so that means if these guys burn the gates and take it, that they would be in control of the city. Iberian Slingers. Whew, I don't know if there's a lot of way for me to win this, unless my gates just happen to kill a ton of enemies. And I don't know if that's going to happen. If they're trying to burn their way through gates with cavalry, though, that could be to my advantage. Let's just bring some of my uh, cavalry troops over here. We need something to hold these guys off if they were to break through. Okay, my gates are opening fire, and now my skirmishers are opening fire as well. We've actually killed the better part of this Iberian swordsman. If anything saves me today, it's going to be my skirmishers. And they may very well do the trick. I'm going to actually turn fire at will off for a moment to get them to quit wasting their ammo on this unit that's just routed. And now I'm going to turn it back on. 
see if they'll redirect their fire towards this unit here. I, I'm not clicking an attack order because sometimes when I click an attack order on the walls, things get weird. What do y'all think about the uh, the graphics? I've got it on Extreme, and supposedly they've updated to GeForce Experience 2.0, and they've updated the drivers, and things are supposed to improve the performance a lot in Rome too. It is rainy on Extreme graphics. It seems to be running very smoothly. It seems to be a pretty pretty nice improvement, at least in my opinion. Okay, this unit's about to route two, and it did, so I'm going to turn off my fire at will. No need in wasting ammo. We'll see if they bring up another ladder. It looks like they will. Uh, you know what I should do is actually take this... One of these units of slingers isn't on the wall. It's this one. Um, we should bring these units... I probably need less to defend this area now. Let's actually take all these skirmish units down here to this gate and just a little infantry can't afford much I don't know if we'll get to those other gates in time but we can try the last ladder is coming forward it's gonna have Iberian swordsman on it I think I'm actually going to reposition these slingers here to where they might get a better shot at the flank rather than straight into the ladder. And let's go see what's happening at the other gate briefly. Enemy troops are just outside of my arrow tower range. If I, they do have their own slingers though, that's going to be problematic. They have quite a few units of their own slingers, three or four. Four. So if I put my own slingers on the wall, uh, my guys could very well get killed, and they can fire over the wall at my cavalry, so I might want to keep my distance. I may only put my men on the walls once they come trying to burn the gates. That way I can minimize any casualties given and save my ammo. Let's put these guys just right here. Okay, their ladders are approaching. My towers open fire. Let's see... Slingers need to come back on fire at will. A quick reload. Make sure we can get plenty. We should get lots of good flank shots. It is going to be into the shield side of this unit, but these guys don't have very good shield strength anyway. I do believe I can kill them before they hit the walls, or at least cause some pretty serious harm, which would then allow my Scutari unit that's or Scutari unit that's not damaged to uh, to take them down. Yeah, these guys are going to die before they make it to the wall because they're going to have to maneuver around this ladder. Look at the AI, though, not giving up. At least they're still pushing their ladders. It would be interesting to see if these troops came over and tried to use the ladders that these guys were unsuccessful with. But uh, these guys, you can see, are lining up to get ready to burn the gates, which they probably ought to go ahead and start trying to burn the gates. So CJI is still not perfect, but it is it is trying harder, at least, and that's pleasant. Yeah, those guys are routed. Don't waste any more ammo here. Let's see what the uh, enemy general... Oh, the enemy general is going to come, I think, and try and bring the gate down. By all means, reman the walls. We've got a general to take down, my friends. Yep, he's going to come try and burn the gates. Or are the gates already open? <laughs> no, they were just open because someone was apparently trying to flee through it. All right, my slingers are ready to open fire on the general. And with the slinger fire, the archer fire how long it would take him to burn the gates with the single unit, I do believe we can take them out. But I mean, a noble horse is a pretty pretty heavily armored unit, and they do have good shield strength. But that first throw didn't even cause any damage. Yeah, these guys are going to go down. Sweet. Okay, the enemies are now working on burning down the gates. Um, it's at this point I feel like I should... Uh, Welcome them to my city with some javelinmen. Uh, the fire damage is taking its time, though. Sleekers! At this point, I don't care if I use a couple of, lose a couple of units of slingers. I'm going to need to put some resistance up at this gate, and it will be worthwhile. I can always retrain troops. The mercenary noble cab's going down with only 1% gate damage. Maybe they've made it harder to burn the gates, and that might be the request that some of y'all have been making, is to not make it so easy to burn gates. Plus, it is raining. I would assume that would make it harder to light a gate on fire. And these guys are going to die. Uh, 
The enemy general <laughs> is dead. That was the enemy general, and he is now dead. In case you all were wondering. We hunger for blood and battle. What happened to my other slinger unit? Did I move it to the... Oh, I must have accidentally moved it to the other side. I've really gotten it killed somehow. I wasn't paying attention, to be quite honest. Alright, my javelins are not on fire at will, which is pretty foolish. So I'm going to put them on fire at will. We are getting the enemy slingers to waste their ammo. Slingers up here, my javelin men are wrecking these troops at the gate. I only have a few more javelins left, but I'll try and use them wisely. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Indeed, we have, but it was worth it. They're only up to 17% damage on the gatehouse, and I think as long as I leave these um, javelin men here, it will draw some of the enemy slinger fire and allow my own slingers to work some of their magic. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, both of my javelins are out of ammunition. I'm going to let them stand momentarily, though. This unit has some more ammunition. This unit has all its ammunition, essentially. I'm going to let it open fire. They are firing... They should be firing at the Siberian Slinger unit. Yeah, this mercenary Iberian Slinger's got a little ammo left, too. Put them on the walls right here. I don't know if the Iberian Slingers are falling for it anymore. Like whether or not they're continuing to fire at my own Slingers. I do believe that we are going to be able to pull off a... Uh, a struggling victory here, though. These Slingers have just a bit more ammo left, so I'll bring them over as well. Slingers! Quick, reload! Sweet. Some of these swordsmen are starting to waver. Their own slingers are taking some degree of damage. With my Iberian slingers now firing, they don't have a whole lot of ammo, but they'll be a lot more damaging because their attacks so much higher. Mercenary Cantabrian Cav. I could sally out my... They do have a Lusitani Noble unit. I don't think it's worth it to sally out. If I think they're about to burn the gate down, I might sally out with my um, my newly recruited Iberian Cav and just keep their infantry from trying to burn the gates momentarily. Their own slingers won't have ammo forever either. Just keep it in fast forward mode here for a few minutes. Yeah, we are gradually chipping away at their slinger force. And it looks like we will actually be able to destroy it. Let's move this unit over to here. This unit's taking... One of our units is Where used are you going? Ammunition. Thank you. This unit's got only a little bit of ammo. We can replace this unit with it. Good. It does look like we're going to be able to push back the uh, the Lusitani Vitone force. They didn't come properly equipped to uh, win out in a siege, and their men are actually not quite close enough to be hitting the gates. So they're not getting a lot of damage, and plus it's sopping wet outside. I can't say they'd be having the easiest time to uh, One of our break through the gates. These mercenary Cantabrian cap moving up. They're going to throw at my uh, javelin men who are on the walls. That's fine. We'll let them do so. If they're throwing at my javelin men, it's no big concern of mine. Though I am almost out of slinger ammo. I'm going to actually pull back all my units that are out of ammo. No sense letting them get killed. As soon as this sword unit routes, I'm actually considering... Well, actually, I don't need to get hasty. I don't need to sally out. Just pull all my men back. Let the Iberian Cav get shot with my uh, hero towers. There we go. Oh, 
they're going to start throwing at these slingers. Well, I don't want them to be completely killed off either, because I don't want to have to re-recruit them. But it may be too late for that. They're down to five, four, three, two, two men left. So they're probably gone. That's if they don't get javelin. And they did. Nope, this guy escaped. I think he'll make it too. He's like, oh, so close. Escapes just barely, just barely. The gates are up to 25% damage. The Lusitani nobles are here, but my towers continue to fire. The battle is turning in our favor. And slowly but surely, the enemy troops are dying. The mercenary Cantabrian cab is falling apart. It's not really meant to stand up against heavy archer fire or a heavy skirmish fire of any sort. It's just meant to be a skirmishing unit itself. My arrow tower stopped firing for some reason. Can you run out of ammo with an arrow tower? Makes me wonder because my mine have stopped firing. Um, well, let's uh, let's go pay a visit real quick to the enemies here. I'll just let my, uh, I'll let this, oh wow, these guys are routing awfully quick. Eh, I guess up against these tiny nobles, I didn't expect much different. That didn't do near as much as I thought it would be. I do, though, however, wonder why my arrow towers have ceased firing. If those Lusitani nobles make it in, though, I'm most certainly going to need this, um, Scutari unit. I think that I'll, uh, flank it with these hoplites. And bring my general over to support. Oh, the Lusitani troops are now wavering and my towers are now firing again. So yep, they're going to be finished. I guess whatever I did with that cav, although they got killed, was worth it because it got the towers to firing again. And now the AI is dead. And I think the only thing I will have lost is that one Iberian slinger unit. Everything else should have survived. So sieges can still be tricky if you don't come with the right equipment. Yep, just lost him. Oh, it was a Balearic Slinger. Oh well. I should be able to get them back. Riches of Iberia. Makes me wonder if the Vitones are reconsidering their uh, false actions against me. Might not hurt to build a muster field here. And we'll build an Agora. Um, I'll upgrade the town center at a later point. How can I, I do have a judge here that's fairly high level. Let's see if we can get rid of this enemy mage or whatever he is. Priest. Maybe we can... Does he have, like, moss growing in his hair? Because it kind of looks like it. Zeal-based approach, persuasion-based approach. He ought to be best at persuasion. They will be convinced. There we go. My mission was so we've now success. picked up another agent here, which is great. You, I Lord. could sally out with this army and destroy those Vitones, but they would probably flee. And not sure how much good that'll do me. And I hate bringing Hannibal all the way back here. But kind of feel like I'm left with little choice. Because I don't want to completely build up two other armies. Oh, when I pulled that judge out of that army, that's why the income went down. I must have him uh, upgraded with the ability to... Uh, lower the upkeep cost of the army, which is always handy. Let's see, Hannibal is still in force march, but that's fine. We're going through friendly territory. Need to pick my next research goal. Really been pushing hard on these. Uh, 18 turns is quite a while. That tariff from trade income would be nice. Wealth from all commerce. That takes a long time, too. I'd almost rather just go to this military mint. We get minus 20% corruption, 10% tax hike, and then plus 4 to Punic cultural influence all regions. That's pretty fantastic. Um, so we'll uh, go ahead and start that. It's going to be a long time in the making. Yeah, this is a Massily army. Wow, they're a long ways from home. But nevertheless, coming to support their Carthaginian masters. That's very loyal of them. Let's see if we can hire in the right veteran or mercenaries here. I keep saying veterans. No idea why I keep doing that. 
I need some swordsmen, and I did see the, at least one Iberian swordsman here. It's a light swordsman, but he'll do. And I might go ahead and just take that hoplite off their hands as well. Okay, this army's now proper, and on the next turn, uh, should be strong enough to march forward and take out the Vescones. Um, let's see, we could go ahead and improve this city here. Might go ahead and build a muster field here. And then here we can improve the city as well. Uh, I need some farms, actually, so I'll grow here and build the farm. I'm not, like, really low on food, but it wouldn't hurt me to go ahead and get some more. May I serve you? Let's take this spy ahead and see if we can uh, unsettle the Vitones. Go to poison the wells. My spy is moving through Arvasi lands, but that's no act of war in and of itself. I do believe that that's probably about all the time that I have for this turn. There's no upgrades that I can run at the moment, and before I end another turn, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.